good morning, good morning, and happy Tuesday. This is Gigi. Come on and get your walk with me this morning. You know what I'm going to say. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're rejoicing and we're glad in it. You know, I really went into that one yesterday. I have just determined that I'm going to make this day the best that it can be. I, I, I can't do nothing about yesterday. I don't know what tomorrow's going to look like, but this is the day that I'm going to make the best of it. And guess what? I'm going to rejoice in this day. Oh, I hope you're having a good morning. It's beautiful here in the 757. I tell you, if you can get your walk in, get your walk in. At least a thousand steps. Let's get moving. Get moving. Oh my goodness. Before I go into my gym nugget, I just want to, I just want to let you know, this is the last day to support Grace and Twine Ministries by going to voteforacause.com sponsored by uh, Cooper Hurley and Andrew Lawyers. This is the last day to vote. They, the, this is the deadline and the winners will be announced Friday. And I really want Grace and Twine Ministries to receive one of those um, prizes. You know, 10,000, 3,000, 2,000. But um, go to vote for a cause.com. There's a lot of organizations and a lot of nonprofits going for this. But hey, I believe with your help, we can win one of those prizes. But this is the last day. Okay, got that out of the way. But my gem nugget for today, inspired by our daily bread lesson, which is entitled Joy and wisdom and it kind of piggybacks on what i was talking about uh yesterday because my gym nugget for today is find joy in the simple things of life now our lesson is coming from ecclesiastes which uh, was uh, shared by solomon who was the richest man that ever lived but when I when I started thinking about the joy I went back to Nehemiah 810 because um, at the bottom of it all the joy of the Lord should be our strength because as it says uh, Nehemiah 810 Nehemiah said go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks and send some to those who have nothing prepared this day is holy to our lord do not grieve for the joy of the lord is our strength and you're going to see this is kind of similar uh, to the verse that i'm going to share that's in our daily bread from ecclesiastes you know certainly i can say that the joy of the Lord is my strength. I don't know what I would do without knowing the Lord. And knowing the Lord gives me so much joy. And you know, life can just suck the joy out of you. It can suck the life out of you all, all you know, sometimes. But you have to make up in your mind and you have to, 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 to just, um, you know, make up in your mind that you're not going to let anything steal your joy. And life can steal your joy. It can steal your joy. And, you know, um, Solomon, with all the riches that he had, he even found himself sometimes not having joy. And when you look at the book of Ecclesiastes, almost the whole book of Ecclesiastes sounds so negative because you know Solomon talks about you know how everything is vain you know you know everything is you know uh, is not what it seems and you know a lot of it is like this gloom and doom <laughs> for Solomon but you know he always has some some bright points here and there because as he was also a man of wisdom he could see through all of that and God gave him wisdom to think about what was the most important in life. Because starting 
in Ecclesiastes, the 8th chapter, and the 14th verse, he starts by saying, there is something else meaningless that occurs on earth. The righteous who get what the wicked deserve and the wicked who get what the righteous deserve. And isn't that what we're seeing now? You know, it just seems as, like it's so unfair is that uh, uh, it's almost as if good people are often treated as though they are wicked and the wicked people are treated as though they are good. And, and he says that, and we see that now. There's nothing new under the sun. Just like it was then, the same is now. And we, when we see those situations happen, it seems like it's just so unfair. And, and um, you know, sometimes it gets us down. Sometimes it gets us um, depressed. But you know, he comes right up in verse 15. So this is what he says. So I commend the enjoyment of life because there is nothing, this is what he says, there is nothing better for a person under the sun than to eat and drink and be glad. Then joy will accompany them in their toil all the days of their life. God has given them under the sun. Oh my goodness. Even Solomon uh, realized that if I just enjoy the simple things of life, just, you know, eating some good food and drinking some good stuff, even like what I'm doing now, these are simple things. They don't require any money. Most of the time, you probably have to buy the food and everything, but just something simple. You know, I've uh, always observed that the happiest times that people have is when they come together and eat. <laughs> and, um, you know, simple, simple, simple things. Just enjoy the simple things of life. You know, sometimes we stress out because we don't have this and we don't have that. Um, but, it, it, and he says, even, even if we let joy, even while we are working, while we are toiling, he said that is one of the best things to do. Just enjoy the simple things of life. Enjoy it. Find it. Find it. Find that joy. Find it. You know, sometimes it might not be easy, so much. find it in the simple things of life. Oh my God. I tell you, I'm a witness. I have found joy in just the simplest things of life. And you know, uh, it's been said, those that laugh last. Those that laugh last. I tell you, because you know they even say uh, laughter is like medicine. Thank you. Laughter is like medicine, you know. And uh, I know a friend of mine. Uh, a lot of you may know Mr. Steve Alexander. He's a comedian. He was in my, my play, The Last Laugh. And, you know, behind all the comedy and everything, I know he has been through a lot of things in his life, you know, physical health issues. I, I remember uh, when uh, COVID, he got COVID, he had lost so many weight, so much weight. He was telling me that one morning he got up and he was just drenched with sweat. He was standing in the post, sweat. The COVID had affected him so and made him come down and wait. And I know he he uh, lost his dear wife, uh, Janet, and uh, his mother. Just this past weekend, I saw his post uh, where he's with his mother. His mother, um, you know, she suffers with Alzheimer, but I tell you something that's good. I'm gonna just put it out here. Uh, this coconut oil is something that that helps her. But uh, I just be watching him and how he communicates with his dear mother, but always with a smile and always with a laugh. And you know, it's nothing. I, I tell you, I tell you something that's really that's that's really simple. Sometimes why don't you just laugh real hard? 
that's laugh from the bottom of your belly. You know, sometimes I just like to watch funny shows so I can just laugh. I like shows like Family Feud and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, shows that just make you laugh. You know, but find joy in the simple things of life. You'll last a little longer. Because you know what? Worry and stress, we you said it before, will kill you. So you need to find joy in the simple things of life. I have another friend in Ohio. Her name is Cheryl. I met her uh, at a conference some years ago, and we still keep in touch. Let's talk to her yesterday. But soon as I pick up the phone, that laugh, it is so infectious. And it's just healing. Sometimes you just need to laugh at yourself sometimes. And watch how healing that is. That's like Solomon says, stuff is going on all the time. And the main thing, I just thought it was interesting, in verse 14, he, see, he saw the unfairness even then. You know, good people are treated like they bad, and bad people are treated like they're good, and you're trying to figure out what in the world. But sometimes you just got to find the joy, just like um, Solomon said. And even as you are toiling, as you are working, just find joy. Just find joy, because the joy of the Lord is your strength. That's what I strive to do. Let's find joy in just the simple things of life. I'm finding joy right now, just walking out here this morning. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. It's, you know, when you see uh, the wonderful uh, creation and just enjoying the, hearing the birds and, and everything, I tell you, it just, oh, it does something for your spirit. And it even does something for your health. Just like the saying says, those that laugh, last. <laughs> so find the joy in the simple things of life. You know, I tell you, there's nothing more joyful when people sit down and break bread together. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, just like this past Sunday when we all got together for Mother's Day. That's a joyful time. That's a joyful time. Leave all that crazy other stuff that's going on, because that's going to happen anyway. But find joy in the simple things of life. How about that? Well, it's Tuesday, so I need for you to join me at 7 p.m. for Church School Live. This is another thing we need to be joyful about, that we are reconciled to God. Oh, my goodness, we are no longer enemies of God, but we are friends of God because we have been made, we have made peace with God. And you know, that's, that's, that's the meaning of being reconciled because we're talking about faith and we have been reconciled back to God through faith and believing on him. Oh, this is another exciting uh, word as we go uh, and talk about faith talk about faith and the last thing i want to be is the enemy of god so you 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 want to tune in because when we have believed by faith on jesus christ we have been reconciled through to god through jesus christ oh i can't wait for you to join me for this uh word tonight this lesson tonight as i teach from the international Sunday school lessons. I am so excited y'all because I am finding so much joy in just the simple things of life and you need to do the same. Well you'd be blessed. Hope to see you this evening. Bye bye.